as soon as he takes the step across and he's getting ready to reverse, notice how hard he pulled on that shoulder with the grip. And that's why it's important to have the dominant grip right there or on the belt is so that he can move him about 90 degrees and block his lead leg with his thigh. All right, so we are gonna go through a uh, propping hip throw here. Uh, so it's a little bit like a sasai, a little bit like an urinagi. The idea is that we're gonna step across the body. He's thinking Osoto, and then we're gonna reverse, block with the thigh, throw him over in that direction. Mac is gonna go ahead and demonstrate this for us because he does it really well. So first you'll notice that he's a little bit sugar-footed on one side. Uh, and by that, I mean the line of the hips there is pretty close. You can even hit this from a little bit farther outside if you need to. Okay, so if you're coming off of maybe attacking an inside attack, then you step across. Okay, the, the next thing that we'll see is that Mac is now going to take that big wide step across. Don't go too wide because we're using the hip. If he goes too wide, he's going to only be able to, to take a piece of the ankle. So he wants to be maybe a foot outside of Uki's foot. Okay, as soon as he gets that step to the outside, he's going to switch the hips and look 180 degrees and then prop over his bent thigh. And of course that right hand grip is essential too. Yeah. yeah. So he's got a nice solid grip on the belt and he's hugging the, the hips in when he's ready to, to block. You can also do it off of a scapula grip or that uh, strong shoulder grip there. A little bit harder to, to do it off that one because usually they're trying to pick you up at that point. So. We normally try to stick with the belt grip or with the, the scapula grip up there. Um, and you'll notice that as, he, as soon as he takes the step across and he's getting ready to reverse, notice how hard he pulled on that shoulder with the grip. And that's why it's important to have the dominant grip right there or on the belt is so that he can move him about 90 degrees and block his lead leg with his thigh. Keep the hips in contact, turn as hard as you can and try and look at where you want them to be thrown. One more time through, full speed. Okay, so a couple quick points to, to go back over and make sure that everybody's got, uh, now that you've seen the throw a little bit. So go ahead and lock up again here real quick. Dominant grip, okay. Step all the way across, not too wide though, okay? Usually just outside the, the leg. You don't wanna be behind either, okay? In front of the foot, maybe one step ahead. Hip contact, very fast turn to try and get 180 degrees that way. Strong pull. Good, and you'll notice big strong turn, fast hips, looks where you're wanting to throw them. 